Money. Money makes the world go around. Cabaret is the 1970s cinematic gem that redefined the movie musical genre. Not only are the performances incredible, the direction incredible, the choreography, the singing. This is a, you know, a timeless film, really. This classic turns 50 this year, so we turn to Mark Malkin, senior editor and columnist at Variety, to help us celebrate the anniversary. Not this way, your table's waiting. We begin behind the scenes with director Bob Fosse. He actually wasn't producer's first choice to direct Cabaret. Producers were looking at directors like Billy Wilder and Gene Kelly to direct Cabaret, but Bob Fosse convinced them that he was the man to do it. Cabaret was only his second directorial film venture and turned out to be career changing, often receiving praise for his ability to address difficult topics in the film. Cabaret, you know, in many ways, is very dark and the way that Bob Fosse directed it it's this very fine balance of wanting to entertain while also addressing very serious subjects. A vision that worked thanks in part to the Oscar winning performances of its main stars. Life is a cabaret old chum. Liza Minnelli's performance as Sally Bowles in Cabaret is one of the most celebrated, iconic, legendary performances of all time on the big screen. Meanwhile, Joel Gray's portrayal of the Master of Ceremonies helped him beat Al Pacino that year in the Best Actor in a Supporting Role category. Hello, stranger. He is sort of in many ways a narrator of the story in Cabaret, and Joel ended up winning the Oscar for that work. In the end, every element of the film came together and contributed to its success. Oh, come on. Come on. Cabaret walked away with eight Oscars. You have to understand the way I am. It was also one of the highest grossing films that year and became only the 10th live action musical selected for preservation in the National Film Registry. Cabaret is the kind of movie that will stand the test of time. The subject matters reverberate today and in the decades since as much as they were back then. It's a golden anniversary celebration for Cabaret. And bye-bye. On the hot list.